Hey, what is up guys? Mr. Reverts here, and as you more than likely know, these past two days that World War II have been released, they've been kind of upsetting to some because of the servers taking about two hours to finally load on day one, and then other nagging connectivity issues and stuff like that in the game. Now, for me, this isn't my first rodeo. Every year a Call of Duty game comes out, it's gonna have some type of server issue, so I kind of expected this to happen, but you think after three years of development and just overall the technology we have nowadays something like this should not happen and I feel really bad for the Xbox guys because you guys uh, are as I'm recording this video right now the servers are still not up for you guys and uh, I'm recording this on the fourth by the way but yeah your servers aren't even up yet and uh, I know how you guys feel because I really wanted to play with my friends on day one when the game finally came out and it was so aggravating to just sit there and wait for two hours when you paid 60 bucks for a video game that you can't even play yet. But it's just you Xbox guys are having to wait a lot longer. And again, I know it's super frustrating and I hope the servers will come back on soon and just the overall connectivity will be better for everyone. I know for me personally, the headquarters will not populate. It's literally just me inside the HQ when it's supposed to be a social hub. And back to my point, you know, we paid 60 plus dollars, maybe even like a hundred dollars and even more than that for other bonuses for this video game and it's been two days and we haven't got the full package we've paid for uh, but yeah I mean maybe if I was a lot younger and in my earlier years of Call of Duty I would have been a lot more angry but again like I said this is not my first rodeo every year a Call of Duty game is gonna have some type of server issues and it's just one of those years again so I think the best thing to do is to just wait it out you know don't get too mad I know it's, uh, it's so frustrating I have I'm having the same feelings as you guys but that's not gonna solve anything Activision and Sledgehammer are working hard to make sure the servers come back on and uh, it is what it is that there's not really much we can do again. And I do hope Sledgehammer comes out with some sort of compensation for the time we've missed on launch day. Because again, this game had a lot of hype. It did have a lot of hype going into it. And then when you finally load the game, you can't even play. So hopefully there is some sort of a compensation for the server issues. Like maybe double XP for a few minutes. Maybe a free supply job or something like that. I don't know. Uh, but who knows what they're going to do. That's just what I would think Sledgehammer should do. Now, believe it or not, Microsoft is actually issuing refunds for Call of Duty World War 2 because of the servers and I'm gonna have this on screen for you guys right now it's on reddit and according to him he just went to the Microsoft live chat and he told them the story about the servers crashing and uh, he got his game fully refunded there's the $64 he spent and again just because of the servers going down I find that kind of funny so if you're super angry at World War 2 like to the point where you want your money back see if you can get it and uh, tell me if, if what happens in the comment section down below again hopefully these issues are fixed by this afternoon and hopefully it runs smooth by Sunday and just thinking about it I feel so bad for the people who took hours off work or stayed up super late to play this game and then they had to either wait it out or just completely get off the game because they couldn't connect online I feel so bad for you guys but I mean it is what it is these type of issues happen every single time a Call of Duty game comes out uh, again tell me your thoughts about this in the comment section down below are you guys super pissed off or do you guys not even care that's kind of the boat that I'm in right now I mean like I said this happens every single year so I'm just like eh, it happens I mean they'll come back on eventually now do not get me wrong I'm not saying it's okay that this is happening because I do think it's extremely unprofessional to have something not work as soon as you buy it like that just terrible business but I guess I'm just at the point where I'm used to it I don't know but guys I'm browsing through reddit right now I did see this one post by not a plant and he made a post about him being able to connect online to the servers for Xbox and apparently it's working for some as well so all he did basically was just switch to an account that hasn't been on World War 2 yet and apparently that's letting him connect so uh, I see a lot of people right now that are saying it's worked as well so try that if you guys do have another account or just make one and also please tell me if this trick does work in the comments and a drop like if you guys did enjoy the video and thanks so much for watching I'm a have a great rest of the day till next time I'll see you guys later